गुड इवनिंग लेट एस ट्राई टू इंटीग्रेट टुथ विद ऑर्थोपेडिक्स अ स्मॉल टुथ कैन हेल्प यू क्रैक फोर क्वेश्चन इन एंट्रेंस एग्जाम क्वेश्चन नंबर वन डिफेक्ट ऑन एनैमल क्वेश्चन नंबर टू कम्स एस टू वेरियंट ऑफ डिफेक्ट ऑन डेंटाइन एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री लॉस ऑफ लाइनिंग ऑफ द ट्रुथ सॉकेट क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज अ चाइल्ड कम्स विद डिफॉर्मिटीज देर इज वाइडनिंग अराउंड द ज्वाइंट इनैमल इज डिफेक्टिव द मोमेंट यू कम अक्रॉस दिस वर्ड वाइडनिंग इट मस्ट कम टू योर ब्रेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रिकेट्स द मिनरलाइजेशन डिफेक्ट कॉजिंग widening around the joints specifically they talk about the wrist or the knee in entrance exam they are showing you repeatedly x rays of a wrist joint in a child showing widening cupping splaying flaring and the moment they combine widening around the joints along with an enamel defect you should bounce upon the answer as rickets the mineralization defect question number 2 a child has bleeding of gums bleeding of gums plus dentine defect the moment you come across bleeding of gums it should come to your brain scurvy the characteristic radiological feature of scurvy is called as wimberger ring sign which refers to sclerotic margin of epiphysis and then they talk about bleeding of gums and in scurvy dentine is defect so bleeding of gums dentine defect scurvy variant of dentine they say a child has fracture since birth multiple fractures since birth plus dentine defect that goes towards osteogenesism perfecta collagen one defect and the fourth question that comes from the tooth a child or a young female has multiple lytic cavities in multiple bones and there is loss of lamina dura mind you lamina dura has got nothing to do with lamina or dura lamina dura is lining of the tooth socket so lytic cavities with lining of tooth socket loss is a characteristic feature of hyperparathyroidism and nowadays you are getting a question on hyperparathyroidism which is one more salt pepper skull is a feature of hyper para thyroidism so four things enamel defect rickets dentine defect bleeding gums scurvy dentine defect multiple fractures in childhood osteogenesis imperfecta loss of lamina dura hyper para thyroidism all the best thank you